Now, in the ever-evolving world of dating apps and swiping right for love, investors have recently chosen to swipe left on dating stocks. Well, it seems that the love affair between a Wall Street and dating apps is currently in a rocky phase and it may not just be a casual fling. Take a look at this next report to find out more. In a digital world where everything happens at the click of a button or a swipe on your screen, it's dating apps that are struggling to find their true match. Investors aren't exactly enamored with dating stocks match. Tinder's parent company is down over 30%, while Bumble has become the poster child of rejection, as investors' infatuation for its founder makes for a heartbreaking story on Wall Street. Whitney Wolf Heard had been at the helm of Bumble since its inception in 2014. Her departure raises concerns about consistent leadership in companies C-suite, making it challenging to establish a stable strategy. Experts suggest that the dating market now appears oversaturated, making it a tough nut to crack. With the easing of the pandemic, in-person dates have become socially acceptable once more. Customers, especially the younger generations, are dialing back on their discretionary spends at rising cost of living and student loan repayments taking a toll on their budgets. As long as dating apps struggle to find their love language, it seems like investors will continue to ghost them. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.